Hello again. It's been about a month or so. Uh, sorry for the um, the wait. I've been fairly busy with um, trying to get all my school stuff in order, which I'm still not completely done with yet. Um, as I said before on the last video, I'm planning working on a simple pro game project, which I was hopefully gonna work on through the remainder of the summer, but it, but apparently so I'm gonna have to work on it through um, first part of my senior year at uh, college. So, uh, oh well. Um, what I'm planning on working on is a remake of the previous Pig and Six game. It's gonna be a total rework. Um, it's gonna, as seen on the screen right now, it's uh, it's gonna be in 3D instead of 2D. <clears throat> so that adds a whole new dimension to things. Um, for now, it basically functions as a regular pick and six game. Like if you collect st one of these boxes, which represents sticks, it gives you one point. Um, <laughs> if you keep collecting them. It'll just keep giving you points and stuff like that, which is f pretty basic, uh, be because pick and six is fairly a basic um, collect objects for score game. Um, let's collect a few more. Um, one thing I'm also using is a fully rigid body. Um, dynamic system. I'm using a bullet physics, which I've used in the past. Pretty amazing API. If anybody wants to do um, full rigid body physics, uh, check out that one. It's free, it's open source, which means you can edit the source code to it. And <clears throat> it does a fairly basic job for collision detection and all that other fun stuff. Which I also added um, jumping too, which is not complete yet, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going what I'm going to use it for. So this is pr pretty much what I have so far. I um, got this initially built a couple weeks ago. Sorry, I didn't make a video on this earlier. I've just been very, very busy. Um, All right, let's discuss the plan for the ne next next uh, few videos. Um, for right now, I'm, I'm going to not focus on polishing per se. I'm going to focus mostly on just making the game play and try to figure out what I want from it. So for now, this is just going to be pretty much a prototype. And once I get done with this, I'm going to start pol making a more polished game from it. <coughs> Um, a few of the ideas I'm planning on implementing is definitely change how sticks work. That's one issue I had with the original version of it. All sticks give you one point each. Let's say if you want to add in um, different types of sticks that give certain points. Say, add in, say, one stick that gives you five points, another one gives you ten, then twenty, then maybe a... Um, a stick that basically um, either could potentially give you a whole bunch of points, however, if not, take off a bunch of points. That should change up some of the gameplay and make it a little bit more interesting. Another idea, excuse me, another idea is to add in, um, <sighs> well, because it's a collections game, like collecting points per object, maybe collecting as many, say, sticks as fast as you can from a timer, which would be at another different difference to the gameplay itself. Also, you can add in, say, pick up a certain... God, what's the word for it? 
A certain amount of sticks. I forgot the name of it. Quota. Yes. Uh, collect a quota amount of sticks. Then there's also... Another thing is... All of us are love competition. Why not add in, say, AI players to it? That should pretty much change up the gameplay itself and make it a lot, a little bit more interesting than it was on the previous game I'm working on. Um, this is pretty much it. I'm going to post a download link for this, for this version of it for now, and hopefully I'll have a few of the things I said in this video implemented. I haven't written down a document because I've been thinking about the game plot play and how to improve upon it <coughs> significantly. Well, hopefully this will shed some light on what I've been working on, and I will see you all later in the next video. Y'all take care now.